In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you the U.S. Nuclear Target Map, where you'll find out if you're living in one of America's death zones. Once a nuke is heading your way, you might think that there isn't much left to do. But you would be wrong. Because I'll show you America's natural nuclear bunkers that are also EMP proof. When the sirens start wailing, all you need to do is pick the closest one to your home where you can take cover before it hits. Sometimes, shelter is so close, but you have no clue about it. You could be sitting right on top of it this very second. That's the case in Detroit, where just 1,200 feet below the city, there's a salt mine outfitted with everything you need and that could easily shelter the entire population of the city. Other cities like Houston and Cleveland are also situated over similar salt mines. In fact, every state has at least five natural nuclear bunkers, and I'm willing to bet at least one is within a life-saving distance from your house. But that's not all, because I'll show you an ingenious method of having a unique kind of root cellar in your backyard or under your house that is designed to also protect you from disasters like famines, hurricanes, EMPs, looters, tornadoes, bullets, and even fallout and radiation after a nuclear blast. Most importantly, it will preserve your water and food reserves year-round, just like your grandparents' food cellars. But it's a lot easier to build. In fact, it's the coolest thing I've ever added to my small backyard. My name is Tom Griffith. I'm a retired 60-year-old nuclear safeguard inspector, and I'm by no means a doomsday prepper. I do prepare, but the old-fashioned way, just like our grandparents did when they put aside some food each year for a winter or hard times. Many years ago, when my hands became progressively stiffer with arthritis, I knew that bugging out was no longer an option for me. Leave that to the young people who are still able to deal with the many hardships of living isolated in the woods. And even for the young, this should be a last resort. Bugging out to live off the land is a fairy tale for most. What are you going to do when 10,000 other folks bug out to your part of the woods? Bye-bye game animals, fish, or edible plants. Or if someone assumes they will bug out to the country, we of the country are not going to be that welcoming of intruders on our property. Bugging out and not belonging to that area could get you killed quicker than any of the other reasons. Now, you probably don't consider your small neighborhood or dead-end street a community. But let some disaster happen and you'll see humans come together for safety and support. At least in the beginning. Listen. Even if you have only two weeks' worth of food and water at home, that is nothing to sneeze at. So my advice is to find a way to stay at home and bug in. Leave only if you really have to, and only after I've shown you where you can find the closest natural bunker to your home. Our grandparents had their root cellars, and not only did they have supplies for months there, but it was also a place to take shelter when a storm hit or in times of crisis. So I decided to find a simple way to have a root cellar where I can keep all my stockpiles and everything that I grow in my backyard without it spoiling, but also to serve as a shelter for me and my family. One that can withstand hurricanes, tornadoes, and even nuclear fallout. It also had to be hidden from looters after an EMP and supplies you with food and water in an economic crisis, safety during civil unrest, or anything else you can think of. I also wasn't planning on breaking my back building it either. My arthritis wouldn't agree. So I started looking for solutions. Now, some of the ideas I found were just crazy, but at least a few seemed doable and were cheap enough to give them a go. First, I tried a buried shipping container. Ever wonder what really happens when you bury a shipping container? Man, it was hard. It might sound like a good idea, but please don't ever try this unless you have at least $4,000 lying around and are prepared to work intensively for a whole month. And even if you build it, you'll soon find out that it was all for nothing. As you can see, the weight of the ground caused the curbside walls of the container to buckle in 